Hey guys, Smoothscape here, and today I'm going to be going over something a lot of you guys requested, and that is the updated jewelry and capes in the combat beta. As you can see, I'm here in Lumbridge with all the free armor vendors. I have an inventory full of capes. I also decided to add a trimmed cape, as well as the Soul Wars cape, just to give you guys a reference point to compare. And let's get into it. First up, we have the milestone capes, as well as the trimmed skill capes and Soul Wars cape at the bottom. You can see that the stats work very differently for capes now. You now have an armor stat, a class, a critical hit percentage and a prey bonus. Now at the bottom you can see that a trim skill cape has an armor bonus of 144. It's all classes and it has a critical hit percentage of 2.0 to each. It also has a prey bonus of 4. Soul Wars cape has basically no stats and a bonus of 12 for a prayer. And milestone capes are actually sort of useful now so they all have an armor bonus but none of them have been given a critical hit bonus. Now here we have the rest of the capes. Notice that a class of all means it has a critical hit percentage in magic, melee and ranged. Now some rebalancing definitely needs to be done. As you can see, Ava's Alerter has similar stats to a Fire Cape, except one is melee and one is ranged, and there's definitely a significant difference in the difficulty to get both, so some work definitely needs to be done. There's an interesting bug I discovered regarding the Mage Training Arena Capes. As you can see, I have the Zamorak Cape here, the Guthix Cape, and the Saradoman Cape, and when I try equipping one of them, you'll see the message here say, you must prove yourself worthy in the Mage Arena, and I haven't completed it yet. But also, the interesting thing is that when you try to equip one, the other two will disappear. Again, just one of the many bugs i found in the beta so far. Here I have an inventory full of all the jewelry. You can see I have all the rings as well as all the amulets. And here are the stats. Most rings now have an armor bonus, and pretty much all of them have a critical hit bonus. Some of these are very questionable to me, but you know, I'll let you pause it and you guys can judge for yourself. Finally, here we have the amulets. Some of these are again are very questionable. An amulet of defense has absolutely nothing to do with defense. Uh, an amulet of accuracy gives you a critical hit bonus. Again, has nothing to do with accuracy. So we'll see what Jagex decides to do with all this. That's about all for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've pretty much covered everything you guys have asked me to cover in the beta so far. If there's anything else you'd like me to go over, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.